Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find partial differentiation of implicit function using Jacobian method where u is given in terms of x and y, v is given in terms of x and y and x is given in terms of r and theta. Similarly, y is also given in terms of r and theta. So now, we have to find dou of u, comma v by dou of r, comma theta. But this term can be written as dou of u comma v by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y by dou of r comma theta. Now we have two terms and for both the term we have two separate determinant. So first one it is dou u by dou x then dou u by dou y and here it is dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y. So this is first determinant and this determinant into we have second determinant which is dou x by dou r and dou x by dou sorry dou y by dou r and here it is dou x by dou theta and dou y by dou theta. So we got two determinant. Now let's substitute each value dou u by dou x. So dou u by dou x here differentiation of x is 1 so the constant remaining is 2y. So first term is 2y. Then dou u by dou y differentiation of y is 1 the constant is 2x. So here it is 2x. Then partial differentiation of v with respect to x. So y is constant. So differentiation of x square is 2x. And the another term is minus 2y because x differentiation is x square differentiation is 0 and minus y square is minus 2y. So we completed the first determinant elements. Then in the same way we have to write the second determinant elements dou x by dou r. So dou x by dou r is partial derivative of x with respect to r. So cos theta is constant. So this will be cos theta. Then dou x by dou theta the differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta and there is r. So minus r sin theta. So minus r actually it is cos theta. So now it will become minus sin theta. That's why it is minus r sin theta. Then partial differentiation of y with respect to r. So sin theta is constant. So here we write sin theta and partial differentiation of y with respect to theta. So this will become cos theta and r will be as it is r cos theta. So now we got the all four elements of the second determinant also. Let's evaluate each determinant. Now the first determinant gives minus 4y square then minus 4x square into now here it is r cos square theta plus r sin square theta then coming to this we will take minus 4 common then we left with y square plus x square and here when I take r common we left with cos square theta plus sin square theta. So this term will become minus 4 and y square we have to substitute r square sin square theta in the place of y square. So r square sin square theta in the same way x square is r square cos square theta. We have x here as r cos theta so it is r square cos square theta then this r as it is and cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Now once again from this we can take r square common so we left with sin square theta plus cos square theta into r and after making this term as 1 finally we left with minus 4 r square into r is r cube. 